What's going on everybody? Demboy's back at it. Excited to be bringing y'all this one. So the big question I keep getting asked, what are you doing when somebody smart routes a tight end flag route when you're in man, right? People sit in trips T and spam the shit out of that. Um, trips T for a few different reasons, which we'll get into. So this will add an entirely new element into our show on the city, New York defensive ebook. Let's get right into it. So we're going to go ahead and show this against the meta. Mike Blitz zero, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about the deficiencies of the meta, uh, and also I'm showing you this because it's the meta, so you see it a lot. Mind blown, all right? So my favorite play to do this is PA slot corner, uh, one of the reasons being it's in a ton of different playbooks. So first, if you're not really familiar with what people are doing, you know, block the running back, take the tight end, and put him on a smart route. And then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and kind of pass lead that up and you click onto the tight end and just kind of box him out like a little swerve, right? Uh, and man coverage really isn't going to handle that. A little bit better in all Madden, uh, but it doesn't do a great job. So a few of the other deficiencies, just side note in here, um, as you can see, I close if they're playing by speed. Speed, so the fo or overall, so the folks follow. When you take your strong side wide receiver and motion him weak side, then when you motion him back, dude just sits there, I don't know, watching butterflies. Uh, the acid is kicking in, guys. I have no clue what he's doing. He finally realizes it and tries to follow him, but it's too late. So there's some definite deficiencies, and a lot of it also is because we only have three corners down. We have safeties, linebackers in the mix, things like that. You know, other potential deficiencies are, you know, obviously uh, this guy is manned up on the running back. That's problematic. Uh, if they're matched up by default, he won't necessarily follow him. So you might be able to motion the running back out on like a quick out or something and boom, throw it out there or force the user to jump over that way. Uh, create some real problems. So a lot of little problems and issues right now. And I think that's why maybe we're going to start to see a little more cover four played. Um you know, shout out Captain Ron. He was talking about how he plays cover four. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my post patch right away. What are we going to see? Cover four got patched a little more cover four. Um, I was talking about three, three, five drop show. We might see a little more uh, nickel stuff, two, four, fives, things like that, just because of the, you know, quarters, palms uh, being in one place. So in step big dime, don't care which one you use, whatever playbook you're in, um, Right now, I am actually in 4-6 going 3-3-5 to 3-3-5 wide, as you saw the meta there, right? So this will complement that. And I've been playing a lot more of this, and this is now my trips defense. So I'll come out in here. It doesn't matter if you use two-man, robber, press, you know, whatever. However you want to have your stuff set up. So we'll go ahead and press. So the big advantage here is huge versatility. We have four corners down, pressed on the line. So you're not going to, maybe in some nickels, you have the slot guy not being pressed and then they're running wild on you. You can avoid that kind of stuff in here. Uh, and also we have a lot more versatility in the zones we can create. And what I mean is a safety can't go in an outside quarter, but a corner can. So I'm going to show you two different ways to try to bag this up, depending on how you want to build in a defensive shell around it. So let's say you want to do, you know, something like this and you rover or, you know, something like this and you rover here or you rover here, uh, you know, or maybe something like this and you're rovering. Uh, maybe, you know, they're blocking the running back. So it's something like this and you're rovering here and you've got your shell set up around you. Again, getting past the scope of the video a bit, but different things that you want to consider. So if you're going to do any of that, and really I say all that to say you don't have anything over here complementing this, all right? That's the main thing. You play the quarter in that case, and here's how it'll look. It'll be really tough for him to go ahead and get on top of you. I did one time in the in-game trials have a guy complete that, where his tight end just kind of went up over my corner and just went beast mode on me, right? Uh, he was able to kind of shove him and, and get a decent angle. So if you're super concerned or maybe there's a disparity, you're in regs, uh, maybe you don't have a God squad, you're up against a God squad. Uh, or if you want to have simply a flat in this part of your shell, this would be how I would recommend it. In that case, you're going to go ahead and just put him on an outside third. You know, so maybe then I'd be even more likely to use this guy. Do something like this. Uh, reason being, if the running back goes out in the flat, you've got a cloud out there. At least, you know, you get a few yards, but whatever. 
Uh, if he's running a Texas route, this guy ain't gonna cover the shit anyways. Uh, if I think he's running a Texas route, I just do something like that. Now that frees me up to Rover potentially. Um, again, beyond the scope of the video, but helpful things to think about. But we go ahead and set this up. Now in this case, the tight end just ain't getting over the top of that deep third, right? But we have to have this cloud in because what will end up happening is they could just pass lead that guy out uh, and you'll be popped. But as you can see, where am I going to go with that, right? Completely and totally bagged up. So I hope y'all enjoyed that one as much as I enjoyed putting that together. Now be on the lookout for a real sick What's Trending video coming up, all right? We've had so much change with the game. There has never been a better time for me to do a What's Trending. We're going to go over all the beaters that are floating around out there. So this is going to be like a one-stop shop for everything that you need to know post-patch. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell looking for that. Uh, look for more teaser schemes, which are going to tease full ebooks. There's a lot going on, guys. The second half of this year is going to be a lot of fun. Damn boys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.